This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in Greensboro, so we're going to be doing a French drain and a couple of pumps. So we've got the new dump trailer here with us today. Got a bunch of pipe. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. So access was a bit of an issue here. So, a couple things. We've got a ton of water that comes across from the neighboring driveway that's all concrete back there. And then we have a ton, ton, ton of water that just washes across here. So you can see how there's evidence of water, all that debris getting caught and collected by that fencing. So you can see right here where the water just runs down and these roots are all exposed. So, we're basically going to put a French drain through here. They tried to do some kind of a drainage system here and it didn't really work too well. So we've got to move the, the trampoline out of the way. So our French drain is going to come across here somewhere. And we're going to put a pump basin in over here. we got to figure out where. On this side of the house over here, this is a super low point and this just fills up with water and so you can see right there where there's evidence of water just standing all over the place here so we're going to catch these gutters into a sump basin here the reason we're doing a sump basin is because there's nowhere to trench you've got all these huge tree roots and we're going uphill to the street so we're gonna we're gonna have to put in some some pump basins for this job Here's some footage on the day that I did the quote for the customer and I spent a good deal of time out here talking with the customer and taking a look at stuff and I was very very concerned about where we were going to take the water and basically we were going to be screwing over the neighbor if we if we collected all this water and dumped it out right there and so we made the tough call that we needed we really needed to pump this water out of here pumping is always a last resort and so um, this area you can see right here around the shed would just hold water and the shed was underwater half the time the entire backyard was was unusable they'd already put a drainage system in and it just did nothing there you can see it comes out right there going uphill that pipe is all full of water right there and he got another quote from another company and they just came in the backyard and just in five minutes said yeah we'll fix all this we'll put in a French drain We'll put in some catch basins and you'll be good to go. And I ended up getting the job because the customer valued the time I spent with him really trying to figure out where's the water coming from, how are we going to collect it, and what are we going to do with it afterwards. And so that, that was, a, I think, a, a good reflection of how spending time and trying to understand the problem with the and the customer is the one who knows. So I just go and listen. I ask a few questions when I go do my quotes and what are we, what's the problem? How are we going to solve that problem?
Here we're placing, we've got a perforated sump basin. And so placement of these basins is really key. You want to get it in a logical low point so it can collect surface water. But we're also going to pipe the gutter water directly into this. And that is going to get the water directly into the, the sump basin where the pumps can then pump it out of here. This, this area here is kind of high. We have a lot of water that comes in right there. And then we have a bunch of water that comes in right here. So I've just laid out where my French drain is going to go. Trying to keep it in the low point here. And we're going to try to keep the dirt on site here. So if you look over here, this is just like all washed away over the years. And so the homeowner said these, these tree roots were not nearly as exposed before. So we're just going to take the French drain around here and then this just fills up. He said it fills up all the way to hitting that, that shed, the wood on the shed there. So I want to get this French drain real close to here. Once we get it here, I'm going to stop it. We're going to go into solid and we're going to put our second sump basin over there in the corner, tie that gutter into it as well. So a lot of this dirt is going to go right around in here. Here I'm just switching from that 12 inch digging bucket, the one that came with the machine, to my, 50, my 24 inch trenching bucket. And this is what I'll use to dig the French drain with. That's 24 inches wide with a smooth edge on it.
we're getting our sump basin set here. We've got this gutter over here, this gutter. We got good fall into the basin. And then we've got this gutter here, good fall into the basin. And then this inch and a half line right there is for the, the cord. We're just finishing up our trench right here. We're cutting out some of these roots, but I wanted to show you what was going on here. Check it out. This trench is filling up with water by itself. So we know this is a good place for a French drain. We were hitting dry dirt, and once we got the trench dug out, it's now starting to fill up with water. So look over here too. So that trench is filling up with water and this will represent a path that water can't cross so when it washes down across here it'll get into the french drain and head on down into our second sump basin so here's our first sump basin and we're going to do some more grading we got all this dirt here we got to grade all this out so there's our first sump basin and we've got this gutter downspout piped directly into it there's our cord, we've got this catching that gutter and that gutter. So a ton of that surface water over here is gonna be going directly into our basin here and pumped out. So we should be in pretty good shape. We're making pretty good progress today. So we've got our French drain, basically our pipe set, and we're filling in now. We, it's about five o'clock, so we need to go get some more gravel for tomorrow. But take a look. So the customer's saying there's a ton of water that comes out right here. So that'll get caught by this section of French drain. And there's also a ton of water coming out of here so that'll get caught by this section of French drain. And then we are heading on down the way. Yeah, we need that Y. We'll have it tomorrow. I wanted to show you though, they already had a drainage system installed. You saw me pull the those catch basins out, but See that pipe right there, that corrugated? That was holding all this water was being held in that pipe. All this came out of that, that pipe, it just gushed out as soon as we broke it. So this is a good, another good example of installing a drainage system but not solving the problem. So they tried catch basins and they buried a French drain, which you know I never do. So we're over here doing a proper French drain to solve this problem for good. We're getting this section over here done pretty good and getting things covered up, running our lines out to the street. So we caught this sump pump discharge line and we're gonna take that out to the street. So you can see all this water sitting here. This is all from the sump pump. 
so this neighboring property, this driveway has been the drainage system. And so we're out here hoping to correct this. And if you look down the street, there's just water all the way down the street. And so you can see that pipe right there coming out. Everybody just dumps it right onto the, the sidewalk here. So it's just terrible going down the way there. So we are going to cut this new concrete here. There's, there's a gas line under here. The neighbor says it's really deep because he was out here. He's having a bunch of work done over here. But you're not supposed to bore, horizontal bore, unless you let 811 know. So I think we're going to cut this uh, section of this concrete out and then patch it back, just put it back in. But we're going to bring our stuff out to the curb here, three pressure lines. So right now what I'm working on is there's just a piece of concrete stuck in right there. So I've got to cut that out of there so we can continue with our trench. Stand it up. I'll get back over in here, maybe. Here, step on that. Pop her down. Think we can lift it? Oh no, move the camera out of the way. What if we just flip it this way? <laughs> All right, we're pretty much almost there with our three pressure lines. So this is why we use pressure PVC. This is really strong stuff. And so it can, you can bend it like this across here. And we're gonna try to get our piece of concrete set back in place right there. So we're out here at the front. We've got to get this cord and get these lines done. But I wanted to show you really quickly. It's just the next morning and look at how this is already dried up. Just getting that sump pump discharge out of here. So the neighbor's gonna be very happy about the drainage work we're doing over here. And you can see there's still water all down the sidewalk right there. And so we're just eliminating the water from this part of the sidewalk. So the homeowner was really happy about that. There's our patch job. All right, we just got these three discharge lines. Awesome. Fight to get to that point. I like to set them back in the curb, maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. That way, if a car rubs up against it, it's not going to hurt the pipe. So that looks really good. Ain't even one thing wrong with it. What's that? It's not covered. Not covered? It will be we shortly. Can fix that. We, can fix it. we are back on this job and it is day three and we're going to be finishing up today so we've got a little bit more to do a little bit, tiny bit more uh, gra gravel spreading gravel got a bunch of stuff to clean up we got our sump basin in right here so we had run a line for the power right there and i completely failed to notice that there's a receptacle already right there so I re-ran that line 
we've got our sump pump in there we need to regrade all this dirt out and get all these roots out of it so that'll be a big big project today I brought the mini skid steer here for that we got this sump basin in caught this gutter there's our electrical line and the French drain we did solid across there to the French drain so that's coming into this sump basin so you can see that and then we've got a separate pressure line going out for each of the pumps so I usually don't hook those together into one line discharge line I like to keep them separately We are finished with this job, so it's been three days of hard work, and this is what we ended up with. So, we've got one vented clean out here. There's a lot of water, the homeowner tried to tape that off to stop the water from coming across, but there's a lot of water that comes through here, so that'll get caught in the French drain. Same thing over here, there's a ton of water that comes across just floods across here that's all pavement back there if you can't see through the fence so this section of French drain is going to catch really well and then we've got this whole hill right here and so water just comes down here and so the fact that we have this this barrier now is going to stop that water from going across and standing here now a big consideration is having a swath of gravel across your yard but remember the homeowner already had another drainage system installed and that just it wasn't working at all so he was willing to go with results over looks in this case we built back up around the tree here where it had all washed away and all the roots were all exposed this should settle down pretty good i didn't i did not compact that i left it fluffy so that it should settle so that's a little bit higher than you'd want to go with the tree but it'll settle down a little bit that'll also help shed into the French drain. We've got the French drain comes across, stops right here. We threw another vented clean out right there just because. And then we're in solid across here. And then we've got our sump basin right here. And all three lines are going out to the street. Well, there's a third. The third one's the, sump, the existing sump pump. So we should be in really good shape for keeping this yard dry. We're here demonstrating this for the homeowner, so we're gonna give it another try here. Yeah.
Just steer clear of the, of the splash zone. Yeah. That line's still filling up with water too. So that's the one that's back here. Yep. And what? And the middle one is the other bucket. The middle one is your pump. The, the sump. Okay. Yep. And that one's been coming pump. on, you know, while we've been working, kind right. of thing. Right. Makes sense because there's still all that water. Yep. And then the one on the left is the one by the porch. Yep. You got it. This is Sean. I'm out here. We've had some severe weather going on, and I want to check on I want to check on this pump. So let's take a look. So I can't tell which one's pumping here. All right, there you go. Both pumps are pumping that we installed. The middle one is the sump pump that we caught. So look at that water. Let's walk around to the back and see how it looks. So there used to be just a pond back here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. So look at all this water coming across here. So it's definitely flooding up into the gravel here. And it's running across over here like it used to do. God, look at that backyard. We just had a massive, massive rain. So we got a bunch of water going across here like it used to as well. Looks like the pumps aren't keeping up with this much water. But the main thing here is that this water is coming out of here after the rain instead of holding. That is crazy. This pump over here seems to be keeping up. It's catching these two gutters. And this water here looks like it's coming from here. So he had mentioned there was a bunch of water coming across here too. But we weren't quite as worried about it. I am back out here. It's been about 45 minutes since it stopped raining. And so I wanted to check on things. And you saw how that French drain was being overwhelmed. But the main thing is that the water doesn't hang around for too long. So this thing is still pumping pretty well. Hey. Hey. Has it already caught up that it's not pumping anymore? Uh,
All right, let's go take a look. The basement's as dry as could be. I mean, often we don't get penetration down there until well after. Okay. Um, yeah. A little bit of water, but you know, it, it ultimately made it, or at least a significant amount of water made it onto the. And then the other big, you know, this just became. Yep, I saw sort it. of a river and. And at one point, this, almost the entirety of the French drain, just sort of disappeared. Yep, it was underwater. Yeah. But yep, it, I, I was here for that too. Yeah. It's a lot of water. Yeah, it was quite a lot of water in a short amount of time, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is all drained away too. Yeah. And, and it's, that was the worst. Yeah, it's been about 45 minutes since I was here. Right. So, all this was underwater too when I was here before. Yeah. So, what? Yeah. That rain event included a tornado that came through Greensboro. And so, it was pretty cool that I was able to get out there during that rain event. We had several inches of rain in like 35 minutes. And so, the, the French drain and the, and the pumps didn't keep up with that much water. But the point is, uh, just a few minutes within 45 minutes of the rain stopping all the water was gone out of the backyard and so that's what we were going for is we were going for giving that water a place to get out of the backyard and in the, it's not holding in the backyard anymore so this was a, a great project great customer to work for and we had really 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 good results with it